Are you guys ready for day 123? Let's go! What's up guys? I am Michael McEnough and this is Leo the Hiking Dog. For the last year we have been planning and preparing for this through hike of the Appalachian Trail. Thank you for joining our adventure. If you are enjoying the journey, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. We would be super thankful. Good morning. It's day 123. Uh, we're off and going. 7 o'clock. It is rainy and cold this morning so we both have our raincoats on I'm supposed to have rain pretty much uh, throughout the day so we're gonna try to stay as warm and dry as possible uh, as chilly as it is yesterday I really wasn't worried about the rain because it was warm but today it's in the 50s and raining so we want to try to stay as dry as possible all right, obviously the view not there this morning either. <laughs> We're in the clouds and it's raining sideways. So, and the wind's been blowing. Slept good last night though. Uh, when it gets you know, a little colder like that, chills down. I sleep really well. So, I got a good night's sleep. Didn't get quite up at five o'clock this morning like I normally do, but got up about 5.30 and got moving. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna get these miles in today. I'm gonna try to make it to the hiker welcome hostel today. And that's gonna be 22 miles, so it's gonna be a big day. And so we gotta move a lot. And I don't know how much of it I'm gonna be able to shoot for you guys because of this rain. But we'll see, we'll see how it goes. And uh, we're gonna get the day started. Alright, the rain just let up slightly for a minute and uh, man, we've already had like two full torrential downpours this morning um, starting today. So everything is already soaking wet. I mean, there's just, there's no way of keeping anything dry the way it is. Uh, like I said, the good news is it's 58 degrees and it's supposed to get warmer today. It's supposed to get all the way to 70. So even if it does rain, it's not going to be freezing cold. We're just gonna be wet all day. Uh, shoes are wet, socks are wet. I put on a dry pair of socks this morning. Going, you know what, that'll make me feel better. I'm supposed to get to the hospital tonight. I could put on a dry pair of socks. Well, that lasts all 15 minutes. I could have just put on my wet socks from yesterday. <laughs> so, but anyway, we're making it. Uh, no reason in uh, trying to stop or sit any of this out. I mean, we've gotta get you know between 22 and 23 miles a day. And the only way to do that is to move forward. So if I want to get to that hostel tonight, which it'll be a dry place to sleep, and I'll be able to dry and wash my clothes and do all the stuff, you know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta go. Um, no matter what the weather is, it's, you know it's not thundering and lightning, so it's not like dangerous. It's just wet. So you just you gotta make a choice to walk through it. And let me just show you what we're walking through. The the trail is essentially a river right now. So. This is, this is what my feet are in, so we're, we're basically just walking in a river of the trail.
another torrential downpour. It's still raining, but not as hard as it was. At the top of Smarts Mountain, uh, there was a fire tower up there, but it was just buckets just pouring down. There's no way for me to, to, to pull the camera out. It just, uh, the camera will malfunction if I do. Uh, I can pull it out when it's a little drizzly like this. It's probably not the best for it, but uh, that's okay. But I also just took a fall coming down that mountain. Um, nothing serious. I just, my foot slid out from under me and I landed back on my backpack, uh, directly on the backpack. So it took the brunt of the fall. And, uh, but it's slick and slippery out here. So we are, uh, we're moving. That's all we can do is just keep on moving. Um, look like there's some beautiful tenting up there at the top of Smarts. Um, on a beautiful day. On today, you know, not so much, but, um, the, the top of Smarts has got a, uh, tenting. It's got a privy and it's got the fire tower. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't, uh, oh, moose poop. Moose poop! I see moose poop again. Um, so, unfortunately, you know, we didn't climb the fire tower in that type of uh, torrential weather because it was also thundering at the same time. So, no way I'm climbing up in that thing uh, during a thunderstorm. <laughs> but, uh, we're making our way down Smarts Mountain now. And, uh, we just gotta keep, just keep pushing forward. That's all we can do. It's, uh, nasty out here, but we're gonna just keep getting these miles done. think the sun is trying to come out um, yeah getting a little bit of a I've, I've walked through these pockets of warm air it was really weird it's almost like you know somebody peed in the water and you can find a warm spot <laughs> that's how I could describe it I don't know I walked through through this little I mean, just two or three foot section of a uh, trail and it just feels like a like a warm pocket of air I don't know it was it's very strange but uh but then the sun started to come out and I was like yeah fantastic i mean we're gonna be wet the trail's already wet everything's gonna be wet there's nothing we're gonna do uh about not being wet today but if the sun comes out then uh it'll it'll, it'll make things a little easier a little bit better but we're still walking in a river that is the trail still making our way down from smarts mountain
All right, guys, we made it to the summit of Mount Cube. Let me show you this beautiful, amazing view of the clouds, because that's what they are. <laughs> uh, so we've done smarts today, and now we've summited Mount Cube today. All right, let's see what else the day has in store. All right, we were taking our lunch break here at the top of Cube Mountain when I noticed I have like a four inch gash in my right shoe. So I had to, to uh, quickly get onto Amazon and get a new pair of shoes sent up ahead. Let me show you the gash. You see that right there? That is the side of my shoe. So, I mean, thank goodness for Amazon Prime. I went ahead and ordered a pair and got them sent to the Notch Hostel, which should be, it's like 40 miles away. So, um, you know, it, it says they'll get there on Wednesday. Today's Sunday. That means I gotta slow down, but I mean, there's not much I can do. I may tape them up or something, but I'm, I gotta get these shoes replaced. So we'll we'll get it figured out. All right, for now, we're gonna head down this mountain. I just ate it twice coming down that mountain so hard. It is so slick. One of my legs just kind of slid and the other one slid up under me and I was in such an awkward position twice. Oh man, so frustrating. Like in the mud, like sliding like down into the mud. Like everything covered in mud. I just stopped at that last little brook and and got everything rinsed off and cleaned up but man oh the first one was okay but the second one felt like I could have injured myself the way I fell thank goodness it wasn't on any rocks or anything like that it was just in a really really muddy area just trying to be careful just trying to be super careful foot placements being you know watching seeing where other people have slid in front of me you know but you can only do so much. You, you still got to put one foot in front of the other one. And eventually, something like that can happen. Very easily out here. Very, very easily. So, and because the first one happened and then the second one happened no later, later than like 15 steps ahead. Ridiculous. Alright. I got to finish getting off this mountain. Uh, I got to figure out the mileage uh, to... The notch hostel where I just sent those shoes. They're not going to get there till Wednesday. Today's Sunday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So three days. So now i got to split up that mileage over three days to be there when the shoes get there. So I don't know. If it's either. I don't know. I'll figure it out. i got to look at the mileage now. Oh, every little thing. Just one thing after the other. You know, I was just sitting there eating lunch and noticed that big old giant gash in my shoe. I was like, oh, that's not good. It wasn't there this morning. It wasn't there when I put my shoe on. So, uh, it must have... I mean, we went walking, like, through some serious mud and, and everything today. I don't remember how many miles I got on these shoes. I got them in, uh, in New York somewhere. So, um, they've done part of New York, Connecticut, Vermont, and then now... Uh, you know, into New Hampshire, so I gotta look at that mileage. So, but my next set of shoes, and I think my forever set of shoes, it's always gonna be Pursuit 2s. Um, you know, these traverses are comfortable, but I mean, I didn't, my first set didn't last me about 300 something miles, and then now this set hasn't lasted me, I think probably around the same. So, we'll have to switch back to the Pursuit 2s.
All right, guys, I am considering a change of plans. This afternoon calls for uh, thunderstorms with hail and supposedly some severe winds. Uh, I still have eh, a good seven miles to the hostel right now. And so that's gonna be at least three more hours. And I don't know if I necessarily want to walk in that. But I also, since I had to order shoes and send it ahead, um, I also have to slow down a bit because if I hike at my normal pace, I'll, I'll hike when my shoes get there because they get there on Wednesday and it was only 35 miles away from where I was at, but I needed to get them ordered to somewhere. So, um, so yeah, so now it's a change of plans. I think I can, um, take my time a little bit more and I mean we've already gotten like 16 miles in today uh, I can stop here soon and tent camp before this weather hits and be nice and cozy in my tent this is starting to sprinkle now um, before it gets too bad and and then just pick up the rest of the miles tomorrow and go to the hostel or I can push through it and go to the hostel tonight and get there late and wet and then I can take off tomorrow completely so I don't know I don't know which one I'm gonna do I'm thinking about stopping short and avoiding this weather and just hanging out in the tent tonight and then just shorten it into the hostel tomorrow and then split the next couple of days over to get to the notch hostel where my shoes will be um these shoes will get me through a couple days i mean they're not going to stop working uh, as long as that hole doesn't get any bigger it's pretty big but uh, they're working for now all right i'll let you guys know when i make the decision there's some more thunder yeah that storm's coming it's coming soon so i gotta make this decision soon all right, the forecast is right. Severe thunderstorms. Um, we just made it to the tent site and I was getting the tent set up. It started to rain. I was trying to set it up faster. It started to thunder and then lightning popped right over my head so loud. I just got the tent set up the best I could and dove in. Everything is soaking wet. So I've got to get the towel out and kind of dry everything out and then see if I can get everything set up. So it looks like we're uh, stopping short for today. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to walk in that. That was uh, that was pretty nasty. With that thunder and that lightning. That lightning popped. I was like, okay, I'm done. All right. So uh, I'm going to get everything set up. Uh, i got to get Leo set up and uh, dry us off the best we can. I think I made the right call as far as calling the day early. Um, it's been pouring down rain nonstop. I didn't get the best pitch in my tent, but... I think it'll last, it'll, it'll be okay. So um, we're gonna call it a night guys. I'm kind of just gonna lay here and watch some videos I've downloaded and then get up tomorrow morning and head to the hostel. So I've got seven miles to go to the hostel and uh, we're gonna get there tomorrow. So we'll see you guys then. Mm -hmm.